guess what, ladies and gentlemen? According to Ukrenska Pravda, sources close to Zelensky, Boris Johnson, who appeared in the Capitol almost without warning, brought a simple message that even if Ukraine is ready to sign some agreements on guarantees with Putin, the West are not. So we talked about this before, that the impediment to peace in Ukraine is not Vladimir Putin. It's Joe Biden and NATO. And they're not allow and and who's part of that? This guy. And they're not allowing this guy to do any peace negotiations. That's what's happening. So I'm gonna read you this article, uh parts of it anyway. Uh possibility of talks between Zelensky and Putin came to a halt after Johnson's visit. So again, I we this is not you're not going to hear this on CNN, you're not going to hear this on MSNBC. Uh the New York Times uh aren't going to tell you this and if they do they'll tell you in a propagandized way. According to this newspaper, sources close to Zelensky, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, who appeared in a capital almost without warning brought two simple messages. What were the messages? Number 1, first that Putin is a war criminal. And he should be pressured, not negotiated with. Don't negotiate. Now, we all know how this war is going to end. It's going to end however Russia and Putin want it to end. And the way this war is going to end is with a independent, neutral Ukraine. Unless Russia just takes it over. But it's going to end however Russia wants and the best we can get is in neutral Ukraine, meaning they're not going to join NATO and the people in the Donbass who didn't go along with the 2014 coup instituted by the United States and Ukraine. We overthrew their government and installed a puppet regime in 2014. So there's people in eastern Ukraine that didn't want to go along with that. Ukraine government started killing them and they're Russian speakers. So that's how it's going to end. They're going to have autonomy for those that Eastern Ukraine Russian speakers and Ukraine's going to be uh, neutral, meaning they're not going to join NATO. That's how it's, it's going to end. Go ahead. It, it's amazing that uh, it, it's amazing that Ukraine, uh, the Ukrainian officials have bought into this Western narrative because obviously now Russia has invested so much time, energy and resources into the war that. They might still go to the negotiating table. I think it would appease, you know, China and India, who they want to be in the, you know, they, they want to keep them happy. But at the end of the day, they're less likely to negotiate with Ukraine now after already, you know, launching this war for several months. And Ukraine has lost a, a significant amount of territory and they've established a land bridge from Crimea to Donbass and they're starting to uh, circulate rubles there. So they're literally putting up Russian flags at these administrative buildings, replacing the Ukrainian currencies. They've lost it, and they didn't have to. That, that's they didn't that's have the to. insane part of this all. So, but the reason why I think Zelensky and the Ukrainian leaders are going along is because they've been threatened with death and that the Nazis will kill them if they actually negotiate, and they'll lose their, and they won't have any backing if they negotiate from UK, Boris Johnson, or NATO, or from Joe Biden. So he's in a, so Zelensky is a complete puppet and being used, and the Ukrainian people are being used as cannon fodder by Joe Biden, Boris Johnson, and NATO, correct? Correct. Cool. Yeah. I, I think uh, Colonel Douglas McGregor, who is Trump's Pentagon senior advisor, he said, you know, there's a lot of people in the Pentagon he keeps in close contact with. And they don't really know who's in control of Zelensky right now. Is it the Nazis? Is it these uh, deep state officials in the U.S.? It, it, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. They all want the same thing. And so far as continuing this war and That's dragging right. it out for as long as possible. So the first thing that Boris Johnson said is that Putin is not to be negotiated with. What? So they don't want to end this war. Who's they? The West, Biden, NATO. And the second thing is that even if Ukraine is ready to sign some agreements on guarantees with Putin, they are not. No negotiations. Keep the war going. Johnson's position was that the collective West, which back in February had suggested Zelensky should surrender and flee 
are now felt that Putin was not really as powerful as they had previously imagined and that he was here was a chance to press him. They want to escalate the war. Three days after Johnson left for Britain, Putin went back and said talks with the Ukraine had turned into a dead end. This is from the West. Again, we're the maniac terrorists. Again, we're the warmongers. Again, we're the imperialists. Again, we're the hege hegemonic uh, ma maniacs. Again, it's the West. <laughs> The myriad of contradictory victory conditions circulating in the West will easily lead to a repetition of fatal historic errors, misunderstanding partial mobilization as general mobilization, turning an inofficial proxy war, a.k.a. special operation, officially into World War III. I've noticed that none of the military geopolitics pundits in the U.S. who are called on by the major mainstream media have never suggested any actions early on to set up negotiations to defuse the situation and prevent it from building up to war. It's like everybody on the Sunday shows wanted a war because they all work for the people who profit off of wars. They're all working for arms manufacturers or oil companies. All of them. Interesting that the story was leaked to the UP by people in Zelensky's circle. The, they use, the usually lively Ukrainian press has been very patriotic and on message since Russia's invasion. So that was leaked by people close to Zelensky. Why would they leak that? Because they see what's happening. They want peace in their country. People in Zelensky's own circle want peace in their country. And they want people to know that it's the West who are making it impossible. Anything you'd it, like? Go ahead. It could also be potentially, it may have been leaked because Boris Johnson caught a lot of heat from Ukrainian officials and other Western officials. He's the only Western official who's come out and said that it's highly likely that Russia could win this war. And he, he got a lot of flack for that. So maybe they were trying to, uh, you know, go after him for coming out and saying something as irrational as that. <laughs> who knows? Well, but you don't think that changes the fact that NATO and the West are the ones who are standing in the way of a peace deal, right? No, uh, yeah, they obviously are. They're the ones who started this war. But uh, I, what I'm saying is I think that... Um, he, he probably definitely did do that. I think that's a given. I mean, the U.S. has come out and said they don't want a peace deal either. But the fact that they specifically chose to leak, leak this about Boris Johnson mm -hmm. may have been in an effort to discredit him and, and kind of uh, light him, on, light, light him right. up a little bit. To take two birds with one stone. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at JimmyDoreComedy.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch. Mm -hmm.